Hi folks, I have some of these uh, lymphium cells, the uh, 18650 type, and I'm going to check the voltage, and what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and explode them. Everyone seems to think they're going to explode with fire and uh, rapid danger, so I'm going to test that theory out, and I'm going to actually try it with four of them. So I mean, if the theory is true, I should be able to get at least one of them, and I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but one of them should explode dangerously. Now I'm going to stand back, of course, just in case it does happen, and I have snow and uh, nothing else around me, so if it does ha happen, uh, there's no risk of anything happening except that battery doing what it's going to do. So I'm going to give it a trial test, and I'm going to give them a quick voltage readout here. I'm not going to worry about where positive and negative goes. <coughs> this one here is at 3.77. <coughs> this one here is at... 3 point well, about the same and this one here is at 3 point about the same making contact here no that one's lower that one's 2 Oh, about 2.30 or so. And the last one here. Let's move these ones out of the way and bring this one in closer. And this last one here is 3.77. Same as the first three, basically. That's jumping all over the place. But anyhow, it doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a car battery. So I'm going to hook one of these up here now. I'm going to move them two out of the way. I might even be. So we got positive on this end and negative on that end. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to hook up the booster cable like so. And I'm going to hook up this one. There we go, like so. And I'm going to come over to the car battery. I hope the sunshine is not interfering. And I'm going to hook it to a car battery. So I'm going to pump in some serious volts, which is definitely going to take it into overcharge mode. Pretty fast at that. Good size cable, that's a booster cable. And uh, I'm going to test out the volts on this. I think this battery here is a little bit low, but let's just see. That's okay. Still, a tremendous amount of volts that's going to be uh, pumped into that lithium cell. So, I'm going to begin it. I'm going to hook it up and obviously stand away from it and give it some time and just see what happens with it. We'll go negative on negative. And I'm even going to do a reverse polarity with it. Okay. Let's just hear and see what happens with it. Not a whole lot of anything yet. Must be getting pretty warm by now, I would think. I don't hear any sizzling, I don't hear anything. I hear the wind blowing. No explosion. No fire. Up until this point, I could have been holding my hand. Probably would be getting pretty warm. So the hand might be a little bit uh, not a good idea from the heat that's developing, I'm sure. But I'm pretty sure what's going to end up happening is that the battery is going to internally short out and just, that's it, become no more good. It'll become unusable, just meant for the recycle bin, pretty much. I suppose I'll make individual videos for this.
because uh, one video would more than likely just be too long of a video, so I'll make four individual videos and call it test one, test two, test three, and test four. It'd be nice to have some extended leads for the multimeter to read that battery at this moment, but unfortunately I can't do that. So we're just going to leave it hooked up and see what happens. And obviously so far nothing has happened. I don't even see any snow underneath it it's starting to melt. So I suppose the snow is helping keep the battery cool. I don't think it's stopping it from exploding. Well, what I'm going to do is walk up to this battery, the auto battery, and I'm going to disconnect it. And I'm going to test the leads out on this battery here on the cable end to see what we're getting as far as a reading. Make sure I'm hooked up at the, at the lithium end. I'm not, even, I'm not even really too sure if it's getting good connection there. So this here tell me if it is or not. It sure is. It was reading 3.77. Now it's reading 3.82. Strange. It's almost like it charges it up a little bit. Well, let's hook it up. Let's hook it up again and leave it longer and see what happens. Now, first, I'm going to walk over there and feel it. Maybe it'll blow up right in front of me. Who knows? Hope not, but it might. It's got the slightest bit of warmth to it. And I mean the slightest bit of warmth. So, I'm going to hook it back up and leave it longer and see what happens. Oh, we got connection. You can hear it. Some sparks taking place here. So, the rated charge for those is 4.2. It's supposed to exceed 4.2 volt on the lithium end. So, right now, what is going into that lithium cell? From the auto B marine master battery here is uh it was what was it what was it close to 11 volts I believe it was 10.8 something not quite 12 volts this is selling this battery that uh, went bad so it's only operating from five cells basically but that should be enough voltage to make that little battery become very very unstable and very dangerous but so far it's not looking like a whole lot of danger posing to anything. But I'm going to leave it there and see what happens. Make sure I'm out of harm's way, that's for sure. Just in case it decides to go pop! Even the internal valve hasn't even popped, which that's quite interesting. It's supposed to be a safety mechanism, so if it over voltages itself, it, uh, that safety vent's supposed to pop and basically disconnect uh, the voltage. So at the end, at the terminal ends, you would have zero volts, but that's not even taking place so far. Strange enough, them them um. Them little valves, they do pop. I've experienced some of them cells that were reading zero volts, and that was due to the reason that that little vent has popped itself, which has um, basically shut the battery down. Now, it doesn't necessarily always mean when the terminals from the negative and the positive are reading a zero volt. It doesn't always necessarily mean that there's still 
voltage within the battery. The battery itself could just be drained down and it's just uh, no longer has any charge left in it and that could be exactly the reason why it's reading zero volts. Now they recommend once it's been that way for an extended period of time that the uh, copper inside that battery starts to kind of corrode up a little bit and they don't recommend charging it back up after that point. It's one of the reasons why they say these batteries, the lithium type batteries in storage should be stored at about a 40% charge is so that doesn't happen with the copper within it. I think I might have just heard that battery pop. I just heard something come from that over there. And I'm pretty sure that's what it was, the vent. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, I'm going to call this test over. And uh, no injuries have taken place. I'm going to disconnect this battery here and I'm going to give it another test. I think it has popped because I'm no longer getting uh, any kind of arc here. So that tells me that something has gave stuff working. So let's check this. This is going over to the lithium cell. Anybody see what the gauge is reading? Sure they can. Oh no, it's still reading. It's even reading higher now. Seems like this battery here is just charging up the other one. Seems like it's all that's happening. And yet the voltage is way higher than recommended. Way higher. They're not supposed to exceed 4.2 volts. Now I'm not telling anybody that we want to put more than that to them, but I mean I just did a test. Just about 11 volts here going into a 3.7 volt lithium cell and um, not a whole lot has happened. Well, let me reach down here carefully, hopefully nothing's going to explode. There is so little heat coming from this battery. It's, it's warm, mind you, but so little heat. It's barely even warm. So, end of test one. I wouldn't be surprised if this battery is actually still good. Strange enough. So we'll put that one over to the side and we'll bring in another one here. Now this one, oops, this is test two video. Okay, I'll start a new video.